Oil is the largest grain exporter. But it's not just people who depend on Louisiana's coast for survival. Louisiana's wetlands also provide sanctuary to some 300 species of native and migratory birds. The sights and sounds have drawn millions of bird watchers over the years, including former President Theodore Roosevelt, filmed walking the once flourishing habitat in 1915, a mere century ago. Today, the coast is a mere fragment of its former self when French explorers first arrived. Grand Isle is the only habited barrier island that remains, and it was decimated by Hurricane Ida in 2021. Yet those who call the coast home are filled with the same tenacity and perseverance of those early settlers who braved the new world, ever resilient in the face of change and the challenges wrought by Mother Nature.